Many times a pet can have a medical emergency when most veterinarian offices are closed. But the Animal Emergency and Pet Care Clinic of the High Country in its beautiful new building on Highway 105 in Boone is equipped to handle the urgent care needs of your pet 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. The clinic is even open all day and night on weekends and holidays. If you are looking for a veterinarian to provide quality medical care, then Dr. Lindsay and his staff can provide all aspects of veterinarian care Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. The clinic is staffed and fully equipped with state-of-the-art equipment for all animal emergency situations. We now offer stem cell regenerative therapy. Please call for more information. Don't forget, Animal Emergency and Pet Care Clinic of the High Country also does annual vaccinations, spays, neuters, dentals, and flea, tick, and heartworm preventative care. The Animal Emergency and Pet Care Clinic of the High Country can be reached at its beautiful Neal facility on Highway 105 in Boone or at 828-268-2833. Hello, here we are from the Watauga Humane Society. I'm Krista and, and I'm Carol. Okay, and we're here to tell you what's going on this week and uh, but also to mention the rummage sale that's coming up in June, our 35th annual rummage sale. Yeah, uh, we're currently in the process of collecting items. Uh, anything that you may have around the house, uh, big, small, medium, household goods, clothing, toys, books, electronics, furniture, anything that you have that you think uh, someone else might be able to use, uh, we're collecting at this point. We have three drop-off sites, one in Blowing Rock, one in Boone at the Blue Sky Storage, and you can also drop items off out at the Humane Society. So at the Blue Skies, it's only on Monday Monday, morning. 10 to 12. Okay. okay. And you can get more detailed information about these other drop-off sites uh, on our website. So uh, all of the proceeds go toward the care, feeding, shelter of the animals. So it's an excellent way to recycle a lot of the items that you may have around that you'd like to clean out. Yeah. And, and for the large items, uh, furniture, um, uh, we can make arrangements to come and pick them up. Right. So mm -hmm. uh, just give us a call at the Humane Society yeah. and uh, we'll make those arrangements right. for you. Mm -hmm. So we would really appreciate if you're cleaning out any, um, if you're cleaning out a home or Cleaning out a room moving or, or moving or anything like that and uh, would be willing to donate this, these items, we would really appreciate it. So what's going on the week of April 18th? Uh, we've got an event on mm -hmm. Friday, the 22nd of April. Mm -hmm. at the Appalachian Mountain Brewery. Yeah, and it's called Four-Legged Friday. It'll be happening uh, periodically. It has been happening, actually, and certainly throughout the summer, I believe we'll be out in the parking lot in the back. We'll have adoptable dogs. Uh, volunteers from the shelter will be available to talk to you about the work that we do. Uh, you may even find your new best friend. Yeah, we're uh, hoping that you will yeah. find a... A dog you want to give a forever home to. Yep, App Appalachian Mountain Brewery is a wonderful uh, group of people. They've supported us and they are involved in all types of charitable uh, events to raise money and um, they donate a portion of their proceeds on Four-Legged Friday to the shelters. So thank them and also you can sample the locally brewed uh, beers and ciders. Yeah, that'd be great. So, yeah. And the other event we're having on the 23rd of April is uh, out in Fosco at the Mountain Dog mm -hmm. Shop. And uh, that would be um, for an outreach. Snips? Yeah, outreach. Yeah. It's okay. an outreach mm -hmm. for the shelter. They're hosting us and um, they're providing a venue for us to feature some of our adoptable dogs and then snips. The spay neuter uh, group uh, will be selling their crafts. Yeah, and they have some really, really nice things. The other thing on that day, uh, you'll be able to take uh, things there for the rummage sale that you want to donate. Mm -hmm. So you folks that live out in Fosco and Banner Elk Way, uh, if you would like to take things there instead of coming all the way into Boone, 
mm -hmm. uh, please do. That would be great. Yeah. The other um, event that we'd like you to be aware of is also on April 23rd. If you're a person who has some time on your hands and you have a passion for helping animals and uh, supporting the work that we do at the Watauga Humane Society, we're having a volunteer orientation. Uh, and that would be at the shelter from 10 to 11. And you can get on the website and check that out. Uh, there will be um, a presentation on a lot of the opportunities for you to get involved. Yeah. And there are a lot of things to do, not just taking care of dogs and cats, mm -hmm. um, but you can work at the Bare Bones Boutique, the thrift shop, and you can do paperwork, filing, yeah. computer, if you know are really familiar with computers, mm -hmm. we always need that. Yep. Carol and I are volunteers. Um, we need people to walk dogs, yep. um, just all kinds of things. Yeah, so if you don't want to have a hands-on with the animals, there are a multitude of other tasks that need to be accomplished. And frankly, uh, the shelter, I don't think, could function without the work of volunteers. Yeah. Um, we have a very committed and dedicated staff, but there's just too much for them to do. Yeah. And so if you have any interest in helping out, we certainly would appreciate you stepping up and getting involved. Yes. So, so also we wanted to mention to, um, that you can follow us on social media. We're on radio and mm -hmm. television. Um, yep. On Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Mm -hmm. And we have a great website. You can get on there and uh, ha see pictures and some backstories on a lot of the animals that we have that are available for adoption. And that would be a good opportunity for me to talk about Bandit here. Um, he's a, a beagle pug mix, and as you can tell, he's a real lively little guy, um, real personality. <laughs> he uh, went to tour for life at the Boone Mall on Sunday, and he just uh, entertained people. <laughs> um, he's a real sweetheart, friendly with everybody. He came in with his brother, Luke, and they're very, um, they almost look like twins, and um, the owners could no longer take care of them. But he's available for adoption, and as you can see, he's a really cute little guy. He, he loves people, um, he's energetic, he's smart, and um, he picks up really quickly on just okay. about everything. So I'm gonna take him, and you can. Okay, uh, and let me talk about um, Tux. I, yeah. I need to get tucks from the from the little crate over here. Mm -hmm. So this is Tux. He is a tuxedo cat, and Tux is two and a half years old. He's really got a pre playful personality, and likes to play with other cats. He's very lovable, and he was just great in the car on the way over. He's got beautiful green eyes. I don't know if you can see them or not, but he has beautiful green eyes. And when he came to us at the Humane Society, Tux had a really, really bad ear infection. And the infection is cured, but it left him with a little tilted head. So he really wants to go down and get off my lap. I've been holding him for a while. So, um, Anyhow, he, he's wanting to play. Okay, uh, so this is Tux, two and a half years old, and he would love to have a forever home with uh, anyone who's watching or someone who comes to the Humane Society. That's all for this week.